Me and Arturo, we finna slam on some. Is it ready? I think it's been cooking for hours. Sole. Oof. Uh, I think so. Shout out to my mama. Hey, you made it? Yeah. That's that homemade? Hey, you got that oregano on it. Hey, that ain't oregano. <laughs> yo, 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 what is up, Charzo family? The family. It's your boy Alfredo in the cut. And I'm Arturo. Today is Wednesday, January 16th. Yes, sir. 12 22 mm. p.m. All right, today we have a very special broadcast for you guys. Today we'll be covering a recap of playoff football, Ford's newest, fastest street legal car. And the last topic we'll be covering is Virgil Abloh's debut Louis Vuitton collection. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, playoff. So let's bring up our past predictions. Let me get the scores up. Got right, our cool. predictions right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, game number one. So first one we'll cover is Indianapolis Colts versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Give me your prediction and your scores. So my prediction was the Colts winning over the Chiefs 21 to 12. Yeah, I said it was going to be like 40 to 40 or something crazy. Yeah, the Chiefs taking it 40 to 45. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, all right, cool. So the Chiefs did win, but they won 31 to 13. So my pick, the game pick was right, the score was off. Game number two. Game number two. So our next game will be the Los Angeles Chargers against the New England Patriots. I remember I said I wanted the Chargers to win, but I think the Patriots will eventually win. And that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Your guess was 24-21. Okay. And then my guess was the Chargers taking it 28 to 17. Well, the Chargers did get 28, but the Patriots scored 41. So it really didn't matter. Because you had a bad all right, game number three. Game number three. So the Dallas Cowboys versus the Los Angeles Rams. Man, there's there's two LA teams in the play. Were two LA teams. Were. The, 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 I remember you said your dad was a Cowboys fan, so yeah, you went with the Cowboys. Cowboys and Rams. My guess was 28 to okay. 21. The Cowboys taking it. <laughs> and then for Arturo, he guessed the Rams taking it. The score being 28 to 17. I got it. It was 30 to 22. Okay. Ah, 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 you too weren't too far. You weren't too off. Most of them, you were taking the opposite team because you didn't want to. Yeah, just different pick, there. different vibe. Just throwing it out there. I'm not a gambler. I don't condone gambling. I don't condone gambling. <laughs> Game number four, we have the Eagles versus the Saints. Now, my guess for that game was the Saints taking it 35 to 28, and then Arturo took the Eagles, them winning it 28 to 17. We have to talk about this. So, Maybe. what happened to your Eagles? I mean, I don't know. Everyone called me. My cousin called me. My other cousin called me. People were messaging me. What was your reaction to that feedback? I just didn't respond. Thought we were gonna win. Hey, there's always next year. All right, so enough of that football talk. Let's go with our segment number two. Yes. Ford unveils its most powerful street legal Mustang. See what we think of the general car. I was reading the article. It seemed pretty dope. You want to just give them a little, some details on the car? It unveiled the Shelby GT500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the Shelby GT500, for all of you know, Ford makes Mustang one of its more popular sports cars. With any car, there's various trims that you may get on it. Mm -hmm. These trims upgrade your performance, luxury, talking interior, which we're talking exterior, we're talking engine. Ford currently has their base model, which is the EcoBoost. Then after that is the GT. After that is the Shelby. Shelby's kind of like, you know, the top of the top. Top tier. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you could either go to Roosevelt or you could buy a Shelby. It's like that, you know what I mean? So right. just a quick, I'm not gonna bore you with too many stats, but the important one is it has a 5.2 liter V8 engine, a supercharged engine, which gives about 700 horsepower. The research I was doing, I think it said it does zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Wow. Which is, which is, Fast? Damn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could you could rob a bank and yeah. be gone, dude. Quarter mile in 11 seconds and under 11 seconds. Under 11. That's like a block, right? right? Like average, like a city block. Looks like a little video. All yeah. Right. To hang soon. I'm already excited. Woo wee! Dude. 
Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks dope. It kind of looks curvy in a way. This is like a Camaro. Camaro is boxy. Chill, chill, chill. Let me not bring the Challenger up. The Demon? I'm a Mustang guy though. The body looks crazy. It looks like a Nissan GTR and a Mustang had a kid. Kind of have like an Audi cut to it on the bottom. Look at those brakes. This is sick. I read somewhere that the Cobra, uh, that like that specific Cobra, mm -hmm. they they did the face of it to look like the Hellcat, like to call out Dodge. It's supposed to like be like a mimic the yeah the Hellcat logo. There. Look at those seats, Jesus. Ooh, are those pedal shifters? I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh dang, son, what happened to the thing? Is that how you shift? The little notch? Yeah, the knob. What the hell? It's got GPS, that's important. I got GPS on my phone. Look at those seats. Carbon fiber. Spoiler? Uh, wing? Spoiler, yeah. That's nice. Anything carbon fiber is fucking nice. Look at those exhausts, Everyone. son. Why you need four though? My car got one. You have a car? No. <laughs> CTA. Shout out the blue line, shout out the pink line. Dude, that's nice. Carbon fiber rims. I'm so upset about the Eagles. We should have won. Bro, that looks like Robert's Mustang. Maybe a 67. So, what are your thoughts, opinion, <laughs> point of view, feedback? I think it's a flex. Flex. You probably spend like, I don't know how much on gas, dude. 700 horsepower. You probably get like minus seven miles to the gallon highway. All right, so enough of this car talk. I just feel like lining up the mood. So I recently saw something, I don't know if you heard about it. The most liked picture on Instagram right now, the egg. What's Have up? you heard about it? No, I heard it like R. Kelly. <laughs> Alright, sorry, back to your eggs. Back to this egg. Back to those eggs. So let me <laughs> let me go ahead and pull that up. Because right. I actually followed the page. I'm a big fan now. I'm not a fan. I'm an egg kind of sort. Alright, so it is the page is called world underscore record underscore egg. What so is it? It egg. has that page has a following of over seven million followers. And it's pretty much just a post about this egg and it currently has wow. It pretty much has four forty five point eight million likes at this point but it's an egg yeah it's just legit a picture of an egg and i guess everybody's on the wave is this this egg yeah it's just that egg bro it says egg gang dude it's verified yeah it's verified in everything my instagram it's an instagram profile with one picture and the reason why it got like so big was because kylie jenner held the record for the most liked picture on instagram that surpassed kylie jenner's most liked picture on instagram the throne kylie jenner what the heck dude they got merchandise i think it's organic bro it looks organic it looks Usually organic, right? yeah. organic. Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts, your opinions, point of views? I'm glad to see something past Kylie Jenner. But if it's an egg, is that really better? I don't know. What do you guys think? You let us know what you think about this whole egg hype. Comment. Comment what you think. I think it's weird. We're following an egg. Bro, Jesus had how many followers? <laughs> How many did he have? 12? I think like 12. Dude, bro. this egg has more followers than Jesus, bro. But if Jesus is the son of God and this egg is the son of a chicken, is that Jesus? No, it's a reach. It's crazy. Enough of that egg talk. For our fourth and final segment, covering Virgil Abloh's debut Louis Vuitton collection. For those who you don't know, Virgil Abloh is pretty much a Chicago native. He's well known for his brand Off-White. Off-White is, I guess it's a first of its kind. It's considered like high-end, but streetwear at the same time. So it's kind of like, when it first started, it started off as just a clothing brand, its own kind of thing. As it started growing hype, that's when Nike reached out to him. They messed with his designs, his thought process, his take on things right. and that's the his, his first successful collaboration was with Nike and that's kind of what pioneered him to continue his success because through that whole off-white Nike shoe collaboration he then got starting to get a lot of clout if you will he then got reached out to Louis Vuitton due to having great success with that Louis Vuitton then reached out to him and they worked some type of deal that he's now the men's creative fashion director at, for Louis Vuitton so that's pretty dope and he's actually the first man of color to be in that position big shout out to you Virgil so what's the uh, what's the significance with this besides him being a Chicago native why I want to bring up this topic is his debut Louis Vuitton collection sold out quicker than the supreme Louis Vuitton collaboration 30% quicker matter of fact it sold out within 48 hours Jesus. the entire thing it's just more mind-blowing that it sold out 30% faster than the supreme Louis Vuitton collab that should just tell you something like how much people follow his work how much people really mess with him because he's honestly a great person in general he He's 38. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty mind blowing. Props to you, Virgil. I hope you keep working on your success and keep grinding because it's working and paying off. That's a flex. That's a flex. That's a flex, bro. 
That's a big ass flex. All right, so that, that concludes our episode for today. Thank you guys all for watching. Thanks for your support. If you mess with our content, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. And if you wanna see something or you wanna see us cover a topic, hit us on that comment. We listen, we love support, we love feedback. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay charged up. It's all day. Oh, a day, son? But no, yeah, dude, I think we should, we should do a gun range review. We should do archery, too. Cilantro to record at the gun range? Yeah. It's a little more tighter. That's what she said.